I had a, a weird morning this oh, morning. Okay. You well, know what? Why? I was watching Good Morning Football. Yes. Did you look at it? There was Kay Adams last. It's her last day. Yeah, I know. It was uh, emotional. I didn't see it. What did she? Yeah, I, I, I was in the hotel over there, you know, and then, uh, and I just started turning it on, and I'm, I got to watch the last hour, and it was a lot of tears and a lot of goodbyes, of and then Nate ju- surprised her and came on the oh, set and did nice. the show with them, and Traegs and and Kyle and those guys. It's a great show, you know that. But I'm I'm watching this and they're yeah. saying goodbye and I love you and all that, and then I'm thinking. We're gonna have a show like that someday. Oh, oh no, my no! Gosh, Rich, why would you say that? I don't want to bring this down, but I start thinking, someday yeah. we're gonna have a show like that because because the uh, the four of us have been together. They've been together for six years. We've been there ten years together, right? I know, but I've been with you for seventeen, Rich. That's right. I remember um, interview you, interviewing you on Lions Cam at the league meetings, and you were then, and also during, and and was my hair darker? No, you were, you were, you were. <laughs> you, the difference between you now and as I've known you, and you on Lions Cam is you talk pounds here. No, not at all. You look great. No, Steve, we're not talking about that. You were, um, what's the word for it? Miserable. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did not seem hey, happy at all. It's like, a tough job, Rich, over there. We had Matthew Stafford on the set yesterday, and he looked revitalized, right? He, <laughs> he did. He, did. He, he said to him, oh, screw it, we'll just share it. He, Stafford comes out on the set, and because um, he started the uh, schedule release show with us, oh, great. and which was great. We've never had that before. We've That's never good. had like a defending Super Bowl champion quarterback just start it. with us. But then again, you know, we also really never had football in Los Angeles, let alone a new beautiful studio across the street from the place where the Super Bowl was played and won, where they have their regular season games anyway. But he's he's. You said you you know you look you look great. And great. he's just like, I got makeup on. Makeup. I he never said, saw him with makeup. Before. He said, he said, because I had this real, you know, sun, bad sunburn or something. He said, I got got that sunburn, and I said, that's something you probably never said in Detroit very much, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Which you know, I'm allowed to say, having spent four years in uh, in that area, but yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah, you didn't. Uh, that was the difference. But yes, and I just remember you joining us. It was the Super Bowl in Detroit. That was your first gig with first NFL gig. Network. It was the Seahawks and the Steelers Super Bowl. And, um, you know, you were just kicking the tires on that. Oh, I was kicking tires all right because I got whacked on Thanksgiving after the Thanksgiving game. And then then Eric Weinberger calls me up, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, a couple weeks later or whatever. Yeah. He goes, hey, Mooch, um, you want to come on the NFL Network with us? Mm Mm-hmm. I go, I go, interview with Rich again or what? He goes, no, no, come and work at the Super Bowl. Right. I went, it's in Detroit. It's in the, it's in Ford Field. He goes, yeah, I know. I go, I just got fired from there. You want me to go back in there and start doing shows? And he goes, yep, let's go. And I hadn't left, I hadn't left my house in three weeks. I think I told you that once already. I, I mean, when you, when you get fired, sometimes you just go in the tank. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. I literally didn't leave my house for three weeks. And then one day I got out and went to Costco and walked around the aisle. <laughs> and I started eating those little hot dogs on toothpicks. Oh, just samples. For, yeah, just samples. For, the samples are best. But Mooch, I don't know what I, said or that or staying in your house. Mooch, like a and then people start looking at me like, here's the coach. I got fired. He's eating toothpicks and hot dogs. I had to buy some. So I went and bought some, I bought some like I white some. tube socks. I had to buy something. I couldn't, I couldn't leave the building without buying something. You mean to excuse your grazing? Or yeah. you like to try and cover your grazing? <laughs> tube socks was a fig leaf of you grazing like I, hot like dogs on a socks. Set. Okay, but I had to buy something. <laughs> anyway, so then that's where we started <laughs> in Detroit. <laughs> Yep, that's where it all started. So maybe twenty years from now, we'll have a goodbye session. You like know what? Kay I Adams hope it's did. as long as as. <laughs> look, I'll I'll say it. Uh, screw it. You know, um, obviously we're in competition with many uh, groups um, doing the job, and everybody has a terrific group behind them. We do too, and the the compliments I get on our show more than any other is the compliment everybody who does this for a living wants to hear and the answer is you guys really look like you're having fun fun. and you like each other yeah and my answer is you're right we're having fun and we really do like each other like we do spend time 
with each other and having time mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. And we've got great memories together. And some of our best memories, Steve, didn't think we were going to go in this direction, but you, you started us off. I Sorry. love it. These are some great stories. Brockman, our Thursday night football. Now, now, I mean, isn't it crazy? We have Al Michaels and we have Kirk Herbstreet on the schedule release show. Thursday night football is now on Amazon Prime Video. Al's calling it with Kirk Herbstreet. But we started yes, the damn we did, thing in Kansas City in 2006 in Kansas City. It was me, you, Marshall, and Dion, and what Dion called the kids' table, right? Because the it was, the, it was as big as your set. The right desk there. is as big <laughs> as, as this desk, and they put four of us right there on the field. That was the night Schefter broke the news that no matter what Jake Plummer was going to do as the quarterback of the Denver Broncos in Kansas City on that Thanksgiving night game, first Thanksgiving night game of a triple header on NFL Network, no matter what Jake Plummer did, Jake Cutler was going to get the start. And I'll never forget being in the parking lot in our trailer that they set up there. Pat Bolin comes knocking on the door saying, where's Adam Schefter? Because mm. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, he just reported my quarterback is not going to start next week. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. He did say that. <laughs> and I realized, oh, God, Schefter scooped Pat Bolin. Wow. And I, I was wondering, how's this going to land? Because our network wouldn't have existed without the late Pat Bolin right. being supportive of us. But those road trips for us were spectacular. And Dion being there, too, the current <laughs> coach of Jackson State. Yep. What was the deal with your shoes that he did? He gave what did he give you? He gave you shoes one year because well, when we were all smaller and there wasn't seven hundred employees over at the net, we used to give each other Christmas presents. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Santa and Mooch. Dion, he he got me Gucci's. He said, "I got to get some Gucci's from Amucci." That's what he said. Yeah, and that's he got me some shoes. Gucci's. Right. They're good. I and then I remember complaining not. about that. And then so many other did. He gave Gucci's to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I think I still have those. I have mine. Look at you guys. I yeah. have mine. Yeah. I wore them. Uh, I remember that. At the Miami Super Bowl. Remember it rained? I was out in the stands. Yeah. They got really wet. <laughs> Sorry, Dion. That was the Prince. I still have them. That was the Prince halftime show because yeah. it rained so damn hard. Purple rain. That night. I remember all of uh -huh. that. Yeah, man, we've been at this a while. So just to put a button on it, um, look, we love doing it. I love you. I love Irv and Kurt and everyone that we work with. They'd be crazy not to keep us together for a long time. They would. There's no reason not to. The resources are there. The network is there. We love doing it. So yeah. hopefully what you're, you're talking about uh, won't happen, won't happen for, for a long, long time. time. Yeah. Right. Okay. How I, about I, that? That's, let's leave it at that because I uh, I was having a moment going whoa yeah absolutely and then and then to Kay Adams you know um, what a what a run uh, for her she's and so then, talented and, and then Nate coming all back because uh, when I started NFL Network from scratch NFL Total Access was the only daily show that we were doing and then they started building it out and I never I, I'm like when is there going to be another show that's identifiable to NFL Network that's on the air every day that mm -hmm. everybody's going to want to tune in to see. And then Good Morning Football was, was born. Was Kenny Norton doing it? When it was he? me, Ken Norton, and Seth Joyner when we Seth started. Joyner Seth Joyner and Ken. Yeah. And then <laughs> one day, one day Susie calls me up. She says, Pete Carroll wants to come on the show because she was covering USC at the time. Mm. She goes, Pete, Pete wants to come in. I'm like, oh, okay, great. Your first coach interview was a college coach? Well, in studio. Uh-huh. I believe so. Pete comes in. And, you know, USC is killing it. Killing 03, it. 04, 05. I forget what year. I think it was 04, whatever. And uh, Pete wants to come in. And I'm like, okay, great. And so she arranged it because she was covering Pete and they're, they're still, you know, friendly and tight today. Mm -hmm. um, and he comes in, Pete Carroll comes in, and it's me, Pete, and Ken Norton, who was, as you know, Mr. UCLA. Mm -hmm. But they just hired a new staff, and Ken wanted to coach a little bit. He was doing right. some youth coaching, yep. and they didn't knock on his door. Pete heard that, and at the end of the interview, said to Ken Norton, take a walk with me. And within days, hired him. And as you know, Ken's been on his staff, was on his staff for a very long time. Okay. I think Pete... I think Pete Came over to interview Kenny, not necessarily to get on with you. <laughs> like he had a, the agenda. interview. The interview. Oh. I think he was more interested in wasn't me interviewing him, but him interviewing Ken. Yeah, I think that I actually happened. Yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.